Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, what you see here is a D-ring personal size um, cover from Asian Vintage Design. I bought a few years back, probably about three years ago. I took out the rings in a crazy Rambo style, cut them out, and, and this is not a leather notebook. But I put a little piece of paper here, and this is what I would use it for. It was for a B6 Nanami. And so what I'm going to do is just put my little insert that I had made a while ago to fit traveler's notebooks or just whatever kind of books I want to put on the strands. I use the big old uh, table mat looking doodads that I get on Amazon. They're like five of them for eight bucks. They don't sell them at my Dollar Tree. So I just kind of go ahead and put that on here. So prior to me filming another video, I wanted to use this resource for a trauma therapy kind of aid that I'm embarking on. And so um, I just found after completing it that I just didn't want it to want to use it for that. And so after this video, my husband had came and brought me a big old box of stuff. And you'll see that I'm going to use a standard TN number six size from Foxy Fix for that. That'll be up tomorrow and you guys can watch that. But in the meantime, I had grabbed a bunch of little inserts that I thought would be, you know, kind of nice to to use for this. I was talking about my on my Instagram that, you know, I just wanted to do and create something. Um, I kind of do that on Fridays and on Mondays. And I just like to be creative. I like to use different papers, different sizes, different covers. In my mind, when you want to be creative and send, set something up, you got to find a cover you really want to house that stuff in. And for me, I really wanted to use this cover. It hasn't been used in a while. And I felt like it could be like professional, not professional, but just kind of muted on the in the front and then like party in the, the inside. So I am just kind of covering up the little marks that got on this plastic personal size little uh, doodad <laughs> that's my name for when I don't know what things are and I've got a tweet by collage dashboard I've got an idea notebook I have um, this really cool book that I had made I had stuck down personal size filofax inserts in it and then I would do dailies after it so I would have like a weekly and then do dailies um, and so it was like the best of both worlds because, uh, those weeklies are my favorite inserts. I use those in my ring planner now, my Amica. So I was like, Ooh, I can put it in a, um, you know, a bound book or a, a ringless book. When I first set this up, I always resort to monthly, daily, weekly or notes or faith. Cause that is always my setup when I set something up. New. It's like my system of what I really do use. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting down this standard size. Uh, best friend, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing, best friend? Um, I cut down uh, this to like a B6 slim size. So I guess you can call this size a B6 slim. So if you didn't know, you can cut a little bit off the top of a standard size TN and it becomes the uh, width of a um, B6 Slim. So B6 Slim is basically, you know, a little wider than a personal. I mean, I don't know dimensions. Like, I wouldn't even know what to tell you in, in that term. But that's kind of what I'm doing here. So it is a B6 Slim kind of TN. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of put together stuff that I like, colors that I like. Uh, paper that I like and I go ahead and um, what do you need babe you gotta go potty and I go ahead and just put it together like I really wanted to see that dashboard when I opened it up so I put that on there and that is wrapping around an idea yeah. notebook that idea notebook is a very thin little book I think you can buy them on Amazon then I've got the little um, hybrid little planner doodad right there. And then I put down the um, one that I cut and I get those from Amazon, but I just got recently got a big old box of inserts. So I was like, why not? I was going to put that around it, but 
Yeah, as you can see, it's too small. It's a little less, it's a little thinner than a personal size. Um, it kind of will fit a field note too. So I don't know, it's kind of an awkward size, that thing. So I thought, no, let's just take it out. I put that little picture of the Houston Astro chick with some tape right there. And I don't know, I think this is just so compact and cute. It's just, you know, if I don't use it, I will definitely just put it back on my shelf. But it allowed me to be creative. It allowed me to set up some stuff. It allowed me to just have eight to 10 minutes of sanity for myself when my daughter's just chilling and I find some time for myself. Of course, I turn the camera on. Did you wash your hands? Wash your hands. And I just go to town. So, yeah, that's what this video is. And I wanted to show you guys what I was doing because on my Instagram, I did say that whatever size I chose, I would definitely, you know, just kind of show y'all what better way to show you than an actual video of my thought process and the things that I wanted to use and the cover that I wanted to use. I really do think that it is super de duper cute. The only thing about this cover is it doesn't have long straps like the Malden, but it does have two pin loops. The, and those pin loops are really, really big. So you can fit a pretty, you know, decent side amount, size amount in there. But I decided to take that little insert out. I really don't need it because it's just taking up space. But um, I will probably use it for something else. So yeah, here's an idea. If you wanted to use something um, as a TN and you take the rings out of it, you can definitely use it for B6 size, B6 slim size or a personal size. Um, if you use it as a personal size, it just gives you more space for like your tabs and your, your, your pins and stuff. Um, because that's the versatility of what like a personal size kind of filofax size, um, cover could do for you. So I'm just kind of sticking things down. I'm just kind of doing my thing. I like to put post-its everywhere, stickers everywhere, color everywhere, and when I do that, it really allows me to kind of do what I do best, and that's just create. So I'm a colorful pulse, a person. <laughs> so if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, if you like these type of videos, definitely give me a thumbs up so that way I can, I can tell that you do. I could probably also tell from the statistics whenever I look at those, but um, or just simply tell me, I like these type of videos, film more of them. Um, so yeah. If I, if it does make it, um, in where I will use it, I will let you guys know on my Instagram as usual. I thank you guys so much for watching and you can follow me there at Jesus and paper. Just go ahead and spell out the and, and, um, you'll be able to see the, the fun I have there. Take care.